Algebra 1, number 2.1c, I'm going to talk about absolute value. The absolute value of a number is just how far away it is from zero. It doesn't matter if it's left of zero in the negative numbers or right of zero in the positive numbers. It's just the distance from zero. We use two vertical lines around a number to show we want an absolute value. So this negative 3 has these two vertical lines around it, and because negative 3 is 3 units, 3 spaces away from 0, the absolute value is 3. We remove any positive or negative signs and just have the number as its distance from 0. It's 3 spaces from 0. The absolute value is 3. So if there's a negative 3 inside of these two vertical lines, it's read as the absolute value of negative 3, and then we would have an equal sign, and then we would write the 3. See? So, here's for your notes, absolute value for any number n, the absolute value of n is going to equal n if n is a positive number or 0, and the absolute value of n is going to equal a negative n if n is a negative number. It can also be written like this for your notes. The absolute value of n is n if n is greater than or equal to 0, and it's negative n if n is less than or equal to 0. Now what is this negative here and negative n if n wouldn't does that make sense to you? See how it's got, it says it's negative n if n is a negative number? You would think that if it was a negative number, that would have a negative sign in front of it, right? Ah, okay. So we got to be careful. By putting a negative sign, this minus sign, in front of a variable, it just means the opposite of. It doesn't mean negative, it means the opposite of. You've got to be very careful. So if you see a negative sign in front of an x, it means the opposite of x. It doesn't necessarily mean that, ne that a minus x is a negative number. It just means the opposite of it. So if this x was really a 5, the opposite of negative 5 would be a negative of a negative 5. The negative times a negative 5 means 5. 5 is positive. We've got two negatives. Now, I don't know if you remember about my invisible one, but I talked about in eighth grade about when you see a negative sign in front of parentheses, there's actually our friend the invisible one hiding there. So you can actually say negative one times negative five, okay? So remember, a variable takes the place of an unknown number, like a blank line. So think of that variable as a blank line, and a blank line can't be positive or negative, can it? It's just a blank line. So think of the variable as that blank line. So x could be taking the place of any positive or negative number. And there's a double negative rule to explain about this negative outside of the parentheses. When we have a negative outside of parentheses with a negative variable inside, it's going to be a positive variable. It's like saying, I don't want none. That's two negatives. See, that's a double negative. If you don't want none, then you want some. You don't want none. You don't want zero. So that means you want some. See? So two negatives make a positive. That's the double negative rule. You've got to be careful when you're speaking because people might think you, you want some when you don't. So when we look at a number line like this one, we can find the absolute value by counting how far it is from zero. Negative four... The absolute value of negative 4 is 4. Let's look at negative 4. It's right here. And how far is it from 0? It's 1, 2, 3, 4 spaces from 0. So the absolute value of negative 4 is 4. See that? All right. How about 3? The absolute value of 3 is 3 because it's 1, 2, 3 spaces away from 0. See that? All right. Negative 0.25, the absolute value is 0.25. Here's negative 1, so negative 0.25 would be right here, this first little line. How far away is it from 0? It's 0.25 spaces from 0. See? So the absolute value is 0.25. 
negative two-thirds, the absolute value of negative two-thirds would just be two-thirds. We take away that negative sign. It's two-thirds away from zero, and that's where our answer is. Six. The absolute value of six, well, it's six hops away from zero, so the absolute value of six is six. The absolute value of seven, how far is seven away from zero? It's seven. See? Point zero one six is point zero one six away from zero, so that's its absolute value. So remember, the absolute value of a number is never negative. It's just a distance from zero, and you can't have a negative distance. It wouldn't make sense, okay? So that's absolute value. Absolutely. And we're going to talk about rational numbers in our next video. I hope to see you there. That'll be 2.2a. Bye.